Yo, yo, we are back in our fair effects. And it's really I'll be showing you how to get this fractal noise transition like this. I haven't seen a lot of people use this effect. It is pretty underrated. So let me show you how to do it. But before going into the actual tutorial, I just want to let you guys know for the next three days, my all-in-one store bundle is available. So all the packs I ever made is bundled together in a great price, like 60% off or flat 60% off if you buy the bundle. Like if you add every single other pack into your card, it will cost you on like 900. But if you buy the bundle you'll just get it on like 350 which is 60 percent saved the offer itself is actually insane in total you will get like 160 presets only not including the overlays not including project files and in total you'll get like i don't know like 200 assets in there so yes yeah, stacked up with the effects for your next project and all of the effects in the bundle is specifically made for music videos so your clients will love it and give you more work you will get paid more so it is like a win-win situation right right here so hurry up it is just for the next three days so the link will be in the description but let's just get back into the video so in my timeline to start off i have these two clips where we're gonna add the transition on so firstly what we're gonna do is go over to the last frame of our first clip and duplicate it then right click it turn it into a freeze frame then put it up for your both of your clip and then just extend it over your next clip so it turns into this like long freeze frame right here now we're gonna use track mad with fractal noise to create that like distortion transition Transition. so after you've done the freeze frame just like create a new solid right here and in this solid we're gonna add an effect called fractal noise and trim this over your like your like uh freeze frame then in here firstly i'm gonna bring up the contrast and the brightness on like something like this then i'm gonna scale it up a little bit to around like 160 or so or maybe around like 200 not gonna lie yeah around like 200 yeah around like 200 and bring up the contrast to around like 400 or so uh around like 400 right there and bring up the scale a little bit more like this so to start off we have this like this type of like fractal going on then now we're gonna start like keyframing our brightness to create that transition so firstly bring out the brightness to around uh, 200 or so so it turns into a whole white something like this then go to the end and end of your timeline and lower it down so it turns into a whole black and then after we play that through you can see we have this simple little like keyframe of the fractal noise going on on. looks pretty smooth right here but now to spice this up more what we're gonna do is go over to scale and hit the stopwatch in the scale at the first frame go over to the end frame and bring it up to uh, like 160 or so so we have the scale animation going on with it as well something like that then you can just play with the keyframe and after that go into graph of one of those keyframe right there and go into the value graph make sure in value graph and make a graph like this make a graph like this so it like smooth like transition into the like the effect right there yeah something like there and then we're gonna go easy those like scale value as well and go into the graph and make a similar graph in there yeah so it looks a little bit faster maybe something like this yeah that looks super super smooth right there and then you can extend this keyframes more to the front through i don't like something like this so it like smoothly disappears maybe that's too much maybe something wrong. and yeah that looks super smooth right there now i think our fractal noise is done so we're gonna hide this layer and toggle switch is more selecting our freeze frame layer and go over to where it says track mat and just select this like uh like this linking tool right here and just link it to the black solid and make sure to switch it to alpha mat and just invert the marks if you want it but yeah that look for me it is already perfect right there now after we play through you can see we have this simple little like fractal transition going on this doesn't look anything special right now but we we're gonna go ahead and add more sauce into it for sure maybe i'm gonna bring up my like the duration of our timeline to see the keyframes and extend it a little bit more so it looks a little bit more smooth and slow yeah yeah something right there and now after that you can select your background layer which is this like moving clip right here and hit the stopwatch in the scale put it at the end and go over to the fast frame and just scale it up to around uh, like 200 or so and then you can ease those keyframes go into graph and make a graph like this make a graph like this so it even looks a lot more smoother and it basically looks like a data mouse transition to be honest but a little bit more smoother than the actual data mouse but with that zoom you can see it looks way more smoother because like our fractal also has like a scale keyframe in there and to match that our background also got a scale keyframe so it like looks real smooth maybe you can move this uh frame forward so it looks way 
much smoother. Now to top it all off, I'm gonna select my solid layer and the freeze frame, this freeze frame right here and pre-comp it together. Then after that, if you have a plugin called Sapphire, you can use Sapphire Distort Chroma right here. So Sapphire Distort, I'm gonna just use Distort for now. You can try like Distort Chroma, but let's just go for Distort now. And in matte layer, just set it as your like the pre-comp that we made. And then you can just play with the value and the blur lens to get like different distortion, which will actually like affect our like original layer, which will look way more smoother right there. That looks so smooth after that, bro. Like it really like looks like it's in the, you know what I'm saying? So this was before and this was after. So it is like melting away, but you can like play around and get like different looks in here for sure. Maybe you can set it to none and set it to like the matte layer and play with that. Nah, or you can also set it as lens and see how that looks. But I guess it looks the hardest when like the matte layer is only selected and you can play with the blur lens. Now you can see after you play that through, that looks super, super clean, bro. I really love this like effect. I haven't saw a lot of people like using it. So I thought let's just like put a spotlight on it, bro. Now you can select your that like pre comp that we made. And in there, you can add something like hue and saturation. And as it goes, lower down the saturation. So we have some like color, like differences going on that would be a real cool like another like sauce in there you can add yep that looks hard and you can even add like a curse with it and just like keyframe it or something like this and to mix it in you can use something like a optical glow and bring up the highlights only and amount just keyframe there go over to the end and bring it up and bring it up right there and in alpha channel extend it on mode for sure now after we play that through that looks super different and unique already like there's like so many possibilities with this effect like the glow isn't necessary but i guess that looks insanely cool for some reason and you can even set like the color to like red or something right there so it like basically looks like it is burning as well real like smooth transition right there but you can just turn out the glow if you don't like this already looks super clean by the way so i'm gonna just keep it like this without the glow but it's completely your choice bro then now if you play through you can see it looks smooth for sure but the transition between our like original clip and the free swim isn't that smooth and to smooth it all out i'll be using my essential effects and transition free too so if you don't know it is my preset pack which allows you to add some crazy transition and effects in like few clips so let me just show you real quick now if i make an adjustment lane here and go over to my animation presets user preset right here essential effects free too and from here you can go ahead and try all of these effects but for me i like to use use a seam warp distort one and after you add it just make sure the keyframe is aligned and to remove this glitch right here just make sure to like pre-comp both of your clip like these two clips together pre-comp and then you can see the glitch is also gone and then after that if we play through you can see we have this crazy distortion which really helps our effect to like smooth out and see like that looks super super cool to mix it in go all in you can add another adjustment layer and use something like a something like a framer in here at the beginning before the transition to add some like flash in there but i guess that right there looks super super cool and yeah so if you want to grab this pack and add it faster like i did and elevate your fx i'll link it in the description it comes with 40 plus presets like ready to drag and drop and in my site i just launched the all-in-one bundle so all of the pack i ever made like essential fx v1 v2 and all those other like 3d titles are bundled together in a great price instead of like spending like 900 dollar on the whole thing like if you want the whole like store bundle you can just spend like 300 and get all the fx in your inventory ready to use so yeah if you want to take the all-in-one as well i'll link in the description like in total in all-in-one you'll get like 160 presets or so and project files overlays as well so it is really cool but always if you just want to grab the essential fx v2 and try it out i'll link in the description as well but yeah i guess with that we are done with this effect right here as well and our final effect looks something like this so with that that's it for today's video guys if if you like this video please consider the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i'ma see you on the next one peace